Welcome back to ALF1 Pathways in the Darkness. I'm Admin 1, Vinny FX. And <clears throat> I'm actually taking a separate path from the one I did the past few videos. I actually replayed this game from the beginning to get to a different, I guess, branch of my path. Where I previously went to, and tried to handle the level, feel the power, this time I'm go into a different path first through the level Welcome Tasty Primate, specifically a level called We Can See in the Dark, Can You? And along the way, I had a better idea of what paths to take and how to better conserve ammo, so I'm in much better shape. So we'll see if this path leads to any success. It's supposed to be the other one, or if I'll wind up miserable and out of ammo again. Now one thing you'll see very soon is that this next level requires you to turn off your flashlight because otherwise you get attacked by these flying rats that fly across your screen. Oops, I didn't mean to go that far back. All right, you just managed to dodge that, but you see that rat flies across. It took a bit of my health. Oops. So. Although Bungie software doesn't really give you any hints as to what you have to do to get rid of the rats. You have to turn your flashlight off. I wonder who first discovered that and how. There we go. So this doesn't inhibit our vision that much. So far, we're pretty good on supplies. I don't really know this level very well, though, and it already looks pretty winding and eerie. Nonetheless, I think my skills have already improved from when I first started trying to play through this scenario. <clears throat> Unlike in previous levels, though, I really don't know the right route at all. I'm just wandering around. As far as I know, it's best to explore this whole level, but who knows. There were a few levels that I didn't even explore all of because I knew the general route I had to take and figured that for whatever ammunition I might find, I might end up hemorrhaging more by dealing with all the combat. Yet I still got the crystals, the yellow and blue ones. Okay, a lot of dead ends. You go to start a mental exercise where you memorize maze paths as you navigate them, rather than having to rely on the map as I'm currently having to do. It's especially a challenge given uh, just the immediacy of this type of game. How you're always reacting, you're staying vigilant about everything. Hopefully, there's some more clips buried somewhere. Shit. See, this is where the lack of the flashlight can really hurt you when it comes to those uh, ghouls because their projectiles are so fast, and sometimes you can't see about three square units, so to speak, ahead. And they throw it at you and you get hit before you know it. Try resting here. Okay, that worked. Ah, <clears throat> oh, shit. Here we go again. I wonder if there's some secret, secret passages here. And again, I've seen them show up on the map, usually, which I think actually is a sort of bug in the port to ALF-1. Like Douche Tower didn't intend for that to happen, but it just kind of happened, and I don't know if he found a way to stop it. Try 
keep my distance from those nightmares so I don't get hit the explosion. Oh, you're an ooze. Nightmare over there. I need to get some supplies really fast. So I have a save point. I have plenty of save points, so I'll know where to revert to <clears throat> along the save point timeline if I reach a point like I did with Feel the Power. I believe, though, that this level, if not directly, Will still lead me to some supplies. I really need that fucking cedar box. That's the real game changer. Yeah, I'll know which points to go to on the save point timeline. And then I'll know which general areas of the map not to explore. Because for all I know, I'm wasting time and ammo going to this area of the map. Also getting pretty good at the turn dodge there. Probably rest here. It's starting to get a little worrisome though. I'm really kind of hemorrhaging ammo. <clears throat> Maybe I should start using a knife more since I can use it on these ghouls. I can't use it on this though. bag. I wonder, does the canvas bag have anything in it, or is it just... Oh. There's a Colt 45 pistol, I think. Right? That's what's in it. But, I don't have any ammo for it. I don't even think you can get ammo for that pistol in this game. Well, at least that bag of ammo makes this a bit less stressful. See that coming. <clears throat> I guess that's kind of a pitfall of trying to use the knife on those ghouls. 
you release a spinner in one spot and it takes longer to kill. It gives time for even possible random respawns of level to sneak up on you. <clears throat> it's interesting the way that uh, recharging, so to speak, played such a role in the classic FPS games by Bungie. I don't know how much it played a role in Halo, per se, as I hardly played it, but I do remember there was some recharging there, too. <clears throat> but it really changed the dynamic. Obviously, it's executed differently in Pathways into Darkness than in Marathon, but... Lots of FPS games, certainly of this era, light on object-based supplies and... Here even had ammo rechargers, basically in the form of the cedar box. The fuck. Can I rest here? Oh, fuck. Try a more explored area. See if that does anything. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I managed to dodge that somehow. Kind of disco dancing with these projectiles. It's kind of funny. I did. Feels a bit tedious. But now that I've explored this much, you know I'm being a stickler, but I kind of want to explore everything. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens if I go up here. <clears throat> this is happy, happy carnage, carnage. I think I can use my flashlight again here. Oh, wow, much brighter, huh? What's up here? Oh shit, I don't want to go here yet. <laughs> the labyrinth. <clears throat> For a moment the screen kind of glitched out and looked like I was about to, uh, I was about to accidentally step back under that ladder. Okay, more ammo, no special item yet. <clears throat> One right here too. Mm. I just feel the pull to go back out and explore that last level. Sorry if it ends up being a waste. I really don't want to risk much. Looks like there's just a few small areas I haven't explored yet. But those, for all I know, might just be the ones in... Oh, yeah. Better, better turn this off. Fucking rats. Might be just the ones I need to explore to get what I need to trim the tide. <clears throat> Nothing here.
I guess my main hesitation about exploring the whole level is just that the player can be kind of slow moving. Okay, nothing here. <clears throat> Here though, I might as well rest. Okay, so it's shaping up to be nothing. <clears throat> talk to him now. Are they following you? You don't have any lights, do you? Stay away. Oh, here we go. Following. Oops. Name. I don't remember my name. It's been so long since I heard it. I don't even remember my family or my home. Home. I don't know. I can't remember anything. Nothing. Why do you keep asking questions? Why can't you leave me alone? Nothing. What? What? Family. I think my mother was dead. My father was in the party. Party. The Nazis. My father was so proud I was selected to go on this expedition. We never even knew why we were here. I thought we were sent to plan an invasion of the southern United States from Mexico, but then we ended up in the jungle. Mexico. There was a lot of speculation about what we would do in Mexico, but we were all wrong and still don't know the real answer. Germany, United States, Expedition, what about Muller? I remember that name. For some reason I don't think I liked Muller, whoever he was. What about Gunther? That name sounds familiar, but I don't know why. Crystal. Hmm. Ammo. Well, there might be some pertinent topic I can get an answer for, but hell if I know it. I just got ammo, that's what counts. Three eight fucking clips. So I definitely don't have any more anxiety about this level. Maybe on some level, this level is made to be complex, to get to use the map to be less attentive to the ground and what possible resources could be available on them. I suppose that could be pretty cruel, but this game is pretty cruel already in some ways. You certainly don't really get a hint about 
what to do about the flying rats. Maybe if I ask the soldier about the rat, or the rats are a light, like, oops. He might have told me something about it. But who knows if I even would have gotten far enough in the level to ask him that, to figure out without getting killed. Lights. <clears throat> They swarm to light, spiting and scratching anything in sight. Rats, those things, those rats with wings, haven't you seen them? They swarmed my torch before I could put it out. Torch, I didn't think to put it out. I was such a fool. <clears throat> I believe that's everything, so... Sorry, I think there was probably a soldier or two that I kind of skipped over because I was so used to skipping over the corpses when getting to this point for this uh, recording that I was in the habit of doing that. One more spot I'll check real quick. Oops. Okay, yep, nothing here. So now we're set to go. Too happy, happy, carnage, carnage. And I believe that level will certainly deliver in the gameplay department based on the name and already what little of it I've seen so far. I should reiterate, I played the original Pathways in the Darkness almost all the way through about five and a half years ago. That I reached, I reached something of an impasse and I just kind of stopped. I didn't specifically give up, but I took a break from it that ended up being basically permanent. And it was all because I didn't know about the cedar box. Had I known about it, the game could have been a breeze. talk to this guy. They never came back. Muller never brought any of them back. They're all dead, even Muller. So, back, Muller, dead. Never had a name. Dead. The man covering my back bolted when we were attacked. One of those flying gas-filled monsters hit me from behind. Muller thought he knew everything about this place, but I guess he was wrong. I guess he died for it, too. Place. I hate it. I hate it. <coughs> Monsters. I spun around and pushed my MP41 into its squishy forehead and fired it until it exploded. The concussion killed me. Yep. Sounds about right. What about the MP41? Everybody who left after I died had an MP41. If you want one, just look for their bodies. They never came back, so they're rotting around here somewhere. Okay, so there's heavy firepower laying around. <clears throat> That'll come in handy. Rotting, and they all deserve it, especially Muller. Somewhere. about Gunther. Doesn't understand. <clears throat> Expedition. 
structure may you know, make it sense. Mission. Goals. All right. That's good enough. <clears throat> so, where to from here? Those guys were sturdy. I don't really know where to go. <clears throat> All right. Thought I saw something like an object, but I guess it's just more of these. Shrooms, the fungus. Not from that side? Okay. Fuck. Yeah, that was really bad. Sorry. I was trying to engage with the knife and I just ended up making a worse situation for myself. Damn it. Happens again. I don't know why there's that stuttering at the beginning of this level. Is something to do with those pillars? <clears throat> I thought I saw an enemy here. Weird. just wait for him to come to me especially because that way I would have been able to kill him with less bullets it takes like seven bullets to kill one of those fuckers Same. This is so far more manageable than feel the power, even if there are still oozers. I don't know where to go in this level. <clears throat> I don't know which the most efficient route to whatever I need. Siri, look at all that. There are even more dead bodies of the monsters. What does that mean? It can't be that the soldiers killed them because the bodies of the monsters are much fresher. <clears throat> I think I'm going to take the kind of tedious trek back to the save point before I engage with whatever's there. Maybe at least one of those bodies has an MP41 though. Oh wait. Oh, I can't go back, damn it. <laughs> I guess while I'm here, I'll just make sure to rest. I don't need to rest that much, but something tells me I'll need whatever I can get for what's coming.
think this is going to close. Hmm, it hasn't closed yet. Okay. Don't open those doors. Leave now. Leave while you still can. Name. My name is Thomas. Leave. Get off here now. Run. Run. Hurry. Leave now. Stop talking to me. Doors. There are hundreds of monsters in there, and they come swarming out and surround you. There's no way to kill them all. V41. Do you need one? They're all over this room, but we've used most of the ammunition. Sorry. Gunther. Gunther. He's dead. They're all dead. Well, should have turned back long before. There were only four of us left. We all wanted him to. Wanted. Muller stepped, stopped, stepped on that rune in front of the center door. It killed us all. So is it the rune that triggers all those doors? Muller hardly even warned us before he opened the doors. I think he knew what was going to happen, which makes him even more stupid. Mission. Doesn't look like I even have a choice though. Maybe I could go through that door. I don't know. Okay. More alien pipes. Still have the original alien pipes that I used before, right? Yep. Oh, and it says, this bizarre musical instrument reminds you vaguely of a book you once read, but while you were a child, you can't quite place it. Maybe I have to blow the pipes on top of the rune? I'm not sure. I'll ask this person about it, though. Hey, why was that a dud? Let's try again. Maybe this will do it. I knew that someone would eventually follow us. It's been over 50 years, hasn't it? Is the war still going on? What war? The Second Great War, <laughs> of course. Name. I am Muller. These are the last of my men. Gunther. Last. Muller himself, huh? We were sent by University of Munich on an archaeological expedition. We were looking for several lost Mayan artifacts. Artifacts. There's a fortune in ancient relics behind these doors. We almost retrieved them, but I had to, kill, had to kill all the monsters guarding it. Fortune. Monsters. We didn't expect to find strange beasts like we discovered here. We were entirely unprepared. probably already know how to use the pipes. The doors at the base of the pyramid are almost always sealed and there's no other way to get down. True. What about an MP41? Cedar box. People have told you about the cedar box. It is an art object of great value but it's otherwise useless. Three clips in the submachine gun here. Okay, more goodies. Be careful, don't step on those arrows painted on the floor. You don't want to find out what's behind those doors. My name is Frederick Muller. I was Muller's first officer on this expedition. He revealed few of his plans to me, however. Plans. 
We were searching the crib and its, and its dungeons for what Muller described to me as a small glass vial of immense power. He wouldn't want me to tell you this, but he was convinced that it contained the essence of an imprisoned demon. If it was ever released, it would cause destruction on a massive scale. Muller wanted to use it for the war, of course. It was all nonsense. Destruction. Muller was always thinking about the war and about the glory he would win for the fatherland. Germany, of course. Sometimes I wonder what happened after the war was started. It was 1938 when we came to Mexico. Let's go back to the beginning of that conversation branch. Arrows. Somehow stepping on the rune caused the three doors on the far wall to open. Okay, so it's just those three walls. It's not the one to the side. So I might still be able to get out of here and at least save before I take on whatever the fuck's beyond. Doors. Okay, monsters. They killed us all. The last four members of the expedition, unless Walter and whoever went with him survived. Walter. Muller gave Walter a gold key and sent him to recover a large amount of gold in a strange wooden box. Cedar. The box is made of cedar. Muller didn't tell me what it was supposed to do or what it had to do with the gold. Muller maintained that there was some reason we needed the gold, other than his greed, but I never quite believed him. get out through here then either well, I do have get him out of ammo for that machine gun but I don't know if it'll be enough no 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 keep them away from me please them It was horrible. Please. Monsters. Don't let them out. Please. Please. Promise me you won't let them out. You're going to let them out. I can tell. <laughs> what are they going to do? Kill you again? Cry more in your sauerkraut, you little bitch. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Promise. And third. Mons. Alright, whatever. Thanks for the ammo, prick. <sighs> okay. What happens if I use these? Man. If I die from this, I have to take a whole path all over again. Alright, ready? Three, two, one. right at the very fucking end. You know, what I should have done probably is uh, taken one of those potions. I actually think that red potion I got slows things down. That would have made things much easier. At least I know what route to go. I don't have to spend all that time talking to those soldiers again. I can just take all this stuff.
All right. Take your stuff. Hello. Take out your stuff. Take out your stuff. Okay. Now let's try again, and this time, see what happens if I drink that red potion. This vial contains a bubbling red liquid and smells almost alcoholic. The tiny whiff you got while uncorking the potion made your head spin. <laughs> All right, don't click on the potion to drink it. Now let's see, I'll do it right at the beginning. Ready? <laughs> This guy seems slower. All right, bitch. That was way easy. <laughs> Hope we even got hit that time. I don't know what these potions do, but I feel good taking them. And what's this here? The red cloak. Is that the only thing I wonder? Um, you don't notice anything. Okay. I don't know if I should wear this or not. I really don't know. But what happens? Where did that open? Did it open this other door? Wow, yeah, all the monsters are much slower. I don't know how long that'll last. Or how long, no, other than I guess certainly they'll be back to normal speed. Okay, this is something here. Okay, more MP40, one magazine. I'm gonna hold off on it though. a similar type of potion in the Pathways in the Darkness demo. And it seemed to not only slow the monsters down, but also slow me down. Okay, looks like... Yeah, it's back to normal now. Potion more off. Serve this purpose, though. I see also that my maximum HP went up. Okay. Well, this has proven so far to be a better path for me so far than feel the power, that's for sure. I think this level's about cleared up. Still, the question remains, where's the cedar box? Is it in some kind of secret passage? Who even knows? Aye. object over there. It's just debris. Okay. I think. Yep. I guess this level is basically conquered. I can save again.
So it doesn't leave me where it does it. Okay. All right, let's see what's up here. Other than the electric balls, of course. Ah, shit. No, I don't want to do that. Hate that. Uh oh. Okay, I've got a handle on it, but so I remember at this level is kind of randomly generated. So I need to get, I think maybe to uh, one of the corners of this map to get out. That's the one thing that's constant about this level is that the top right, top left, bottom right, and bottom left corners are how I would get out. I don't think there are any supplies here. Either. Those fucking balls are faster than I can move. Okay. So, we go here. I need a light. I need a rest. I know that much. I think all the doors are closed now. What happens though? Am I even going in the right direction? I don't know. There's a save point at least. The combat seems more manageable here. Alright, here you are, you bastard. Oh man, all these fucking losers. See, this just like feel the power. Like I'm losing ammunition really fast. This is more experience than the MP41, but I don't know where I'm going. And this is really, really bad. It's like I'm back where I was again. And look at all this shit. I can't get through all this. It's like the same thing all over again. That was a weird glitch, look at that. Maybe I just need to have gone to a different quadrant of this level. I think all four corners of the labyrinth lead to different corners of this level, but I'm not sure. I seem to find that fucking cedar box. So one thing I need to do in order to... Wait, what's this? Okay. Well, it's a broken M16. Its muzzle has been just enough to render it useless. What happens if I talk to him? We gave you up for dead after the drop. I'm glad you made it. I wish I could help you. Name. This is Ed. Who do I look like? Sorry, I guess it might be sort of hard to tell. Where's the cedar box? Anything about that vials? Mission. You remember the mission, don't you? Don't mess with me, man. Bomb. About ten minutes after everybody left, I saw Grape come running through here. He was carrying the bomb. What about the god? Hmm. I'll see. How do you die? I accidentally triggered one of the doors after we came down the ladder. One of those green things cooked me. The guys carried me here. Green. Yeah, one of those killed me. I'll never see Anna again. Promise me you'll call her when you get back. Oh, that's sad. Don't joke with me, man. Please call her. Alrighty. somewhere around here, but hell if I can figure out where. Well, my time's actually up for today. So next time on Marathon...
They left one pathways in the darkness. We might get through, need a light, and beyond. We might do some backtracking. We'll see. We're going to find this out one way or another. Until then, thanks for watching.